This is Conrad Nagel inviting you to stay tuned for the next half hour for one of radio's outstanding dramatic productions on Proudly We Hail. Proudly We Hail. And now another Proudly We Hail one of radio's outstanding dramatic half-hours, transcribed coast-to-coast coast in cooperation with this station and presented by your Army and your Air Force. From Radio City, New York, here is your host and star on Proudly We Hail, the distinguished star of the theater, screen, radio, and television, Conrad Nagel. Thank you, Kenneth Banghart. Hello, everyone. Welcome again to Proudly We Hail. Our play is entitled Action at Buadel. The scene is the French Moroccan desert in the lonely fort at Buadel, garrisoned by a lonely detachment of the French Foreign Legion. Sounds like a story full of action, Conrad. It is that, Ken, and our first act will begin after this very important message. Can you hold down a man's job? If your answer is yes, there's a man's job waiting for you in our rapidly expanding United States Army. Visit your nearest United States Army and United States Air Force recruiting station and get all the details today. And now with your star, Conrad Nagel, in the role of Captain Paul Leclerc, your Army and your Air Force present the proudly we hail production, Action at Bordel. The white limestone fort at Bordel had been built upon a promontory that overlooked the valley and the village below. It was not a large fort, but it was one of the northernmost and one of the most isolated. This is the story of what took place there in the spring of the year, during the War of the Rift, when Abdel Krim, not content with his successes in the Spanish zone, gathered warlike mountain tribes and prepared to sweep down upon the border of the French protectorate. There, you devil. That's ten so far this morning. Orderly. Oui, mon capitaine. Ten so far. Mark it down. Ah, mon capitaine, you will break the record. <laughs> Perhaps if I send a dispatch back to headquarters, they'll award me a medal. Captain Paul Leclerc has single-handedly, in 104 days of continuous combat, wiped out 2,624 flies. Ah, almost, sir. <sighs> There are three things to be found in Fort Buardel. One is heat, one is cold, and the other is flies. Got him! I got him! Indeed you did, mon capitaine. You destroyed him utterly. I shall mark it down. Come. Um? Uh, you may go, Goulet. Come in, Lieutenant. Now, close that door quickly. Let's keep as much of the heat out as we can, eh? Yes, sir. You may be at ease. Well, what's the trouble? Trouble, Captain? Yes, you're wearing that look. I have you classified by looks. <laughs> the look has changed. Duval, relax. This isn't sincere. You don't... I wish to report, sir, that Chief Ali Aluli asked to have an audience with you. Again. Ali? Ali here at this time of the morning? What did you do? Leave him to cool, or I should say warm his heels in the courtyard? Yes, sir. I thought that... You didn't think that's what you mean, Lieutenant Duval. If you were in France and the mayor of your town came to call, how would you treat him? <laughs> the disdainful look. Well, let me tell you, my young friend, there is no different important, and in most cases far more intelligent than most French mayors... Just because he wears a burnt noose and his skin is brown... Oh, what's the use? Shall I send him in, sir? No, I shall greet Ali myself and try to apologize for your bad manners and worse judgment. Come along. Hey, Goulet, what's up? Why all the day we fill the bags with water? Why don't you ask Babin? He's a sergeant. How do I know? Oh, you know all right. The captain tells you everything. There's going to be an attack. Je ne sais pas. Well, what do you care, Steiner? To die a legionnaire is to die like a king. I'm not afraid. No. <laughs> you are not afraid. Steiner is not afraid. <laughs> hey, Steiner. I heard the captain say Abdel Krim has an aim in life, and that is to wipe out Boo <laughs> You can laugh. When the shooting starts, we'll see who laughs. I will show you. All of you. <laughs> Quiet! Quiet! Like school children. Corporal Latour, Jones, Morano, you will assemble your squads at once. We brought in water during the day. 
Now we must bring it in during the night, and as much as possible and quickly. Are we going to be attacked, Sergeant? Steiner, save your stupid questions. It's enough to know that your captain has given an order. Now, wait, wait. Sit down, Lieutenant. You too, Sergeant. Uh, now, <clears throat> time is running out on us. For over two months, Ali Alui has been coming to us and saying, friends, do you know of the danger that's coming against you? Do you know how many well-armed men Abdul Krim has at his command? Where are your forces to defend us? Fifty men, even with machine guns and grenades, are nothing. My people are afraid, and our old men say you cannot protect us. What are you going to do? How can you save us? Yeah, that's been his song. And he's known what he's been singing about. How can you trust him, sir? But today he came again, but this time it was different. He's been given a choice. Either join with Abdul Krim or have his village wiped out. He wanted to stay and fight, but his people overruled him. They said we were weak and Abdul Krim would sweep down like a plague of locusts and destroy all before his might. So tomorrow the village will be empty. And soon after that, we will be under attack. Ah, uh, rabble. Rabble, yes, but well-trained, well-armed. All day I've been receiving messages from other forts along the line. It's the same there. Abdul Krim is ready to make his big push. Our headquarters have been apprised of the situation. A short time ago, I received a message from Taza. The whole protectorate has answered the call to arms. A large, well-equipped force with the legion at its core is being rapidly assembled to smash Abdul Krim once and for all. If I may ask, Mon Captain, how long must we hold here? I was coming to that, Sergeant. Two weeks at the least. Maybe a month. It shouldn't be too difficult. <laughs> He jokes, Baba. He's fought the rift before. They're nothing. Poof. Sergeant, you inform your squad leaders that they may inform the men. The guards to be doubled at all times. The gate will not be opened again without my order. You know what to do. It shall be done, sir. Is that all, Mon Captain? For now, yes. Hey, I want you to remain a moment, Lieutenant. Bonsoir, yes, Captain. Bonsoir, Baba. Hmm, cigarette? No, thank you, sir. I want to ask you a question, Duval. You don't have to answer it. Whatever you say is between us as men, not officers. Do you have some particular reason for disliking me? Dislike you, sir? Yes. I try to get along with my men. I know most of them respect me. Some have stronger feelings than that. But you, you've no respect for me and you don't want my friendship. What's the reason? I can speak as one man to another. Please do. You're right. I don't like you. I have no respect for you either. Even though I've heard all about your daring exploits. Even though that old sergeant worships the ground you walk on, and the men would follow you wherever you led them. And they think you're a hero. I know better. Ah, uh, I see. Well, you must have some reason. You call yourself Paul the Clerk, but that isn't your name. You're not a Frenchman. Can't even speak the language decently. You're English or American, but you don't have the courage to be English or American. No, you've got to be Paul the Clerk, a Frenchman. But is that all just because No, it's I... not all. You know it. Men join the Legion and give any name they want. Either to forget or be forgotten. Well, sometimes they even take a different nationality. You're the only one that I've ever heard of. What a man was or what he did before joined the Legion is the business only of that man and his God. I don't ask you if your name is really Duval. It can be no concern of yours what my name really is. Oh, but that's where you're wrong. You see, I don't mind telling you my real name. I've been wanting to tell you. It's Leclerc. Henri Leclerc. What? Oh, 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 no, you can't mean it. Yes, I do mean it. <laughs> My father's name was Paul Leclerc. Your father? Oh, no, that stops you. Paul Leclerc was murdered 15 years ago. The man who did it was nearly caught, but he escaped. They said into Morocco. Oh, I see. You think I'm that man? You think I joined the Legion and took your father's name? Yes, that's what I think. And you sworn to revenge his death? A die in the attempt... What's taking you so long? I, I wanted to wait until... Oh, you mean like Hamlet. You couldn't make up your mind. Now, listen, you young fool. The name is a coincidence. I don't believe... Let me give you a good piece of advice. The first attempt you make upon my life will be the last act of your life. I promise you that. Now, I've humored you enough. We shall assume this conversation never occurred until the fort's out of danger. As of now, you're Lieutenant Duval, and I'm your superior, Captain Leclerc. Yes, sir. It's possible that I may be wounded or killed in the coming attack. If that should happen, you will assume command. The lives of 50 men will depend on how you command. Up to now, your blasé attitude about what's to come terrifies me. 
So sit still and listen while I try to beat a little knowledge into your head before it's too late. How goes it? I listen. I wait. You think before dawn? Who can tell? The captain takes precautions. We all live a little longer. Uh, he's a good one, that one. A best. But that Lieutenant Duval... Fool. Better you use your eyes to watch than your brain to think. I'll tell you, Sergeant. I... You hear something? Yes. Listen. Help. Help me. Steiner, it's a trick. Get your head back over the wall. But there is... They got him. Oh, they pulled him over. No, don't fight. Hey, get to the place. Get to the place. Bugler, sound the alarm. To your places. To your places. Wait. Sergeant, it's done. They fooled the old trickster. We lost one man over the wall. Poor devil. And it's only the beginning. Conrad Nagel, starring in the role of Captain Paul the Clerk of the French Foreign Legion in the proudly we hailed production Action at Bourdel, will return in just a moment for the second act. Here's some great news for intelligent young men. Your growing United States Army needs qualified young officers, and a brand new regulation says you can apply for OCS, Officer Candidate School, before you enlist. You must be at least 19 years old and able to pass the mental and physical exams for Army officers. A high school diploma is your best qualification. If you're accepted, you'll take 14 weeks of basic, then to leadership school for eight weeks and be sent directly to OCS. You'll be taught many interesting subjects, and it'll be a great day when you line up for your commission. You'll be proud to be an officer in the United States Army with good pay and allowances for quarters and food. This is a great opportunity for young men, and you should take advantage of it now. If you think you can make the grade... Get all the details at your nearest United States Army and United States Air Force recruiting station. You are listening to Proudly We Hail. And now with your star, Conrad Nagel, in the role of Captain Paul Leclerc, we present the second act of Action at Buadel. Word came at sunrise to Taza, flashed by heliograph. Silent flashes that spoke loudly enough. Ramain Ancha, Tawanat, Srima, Buadel, it was the same. Under constant attack, Riffian forces well organized and greatly superior in numbers, holding on. And the reply flashed back that left so much unsaid. Relief coming soon. <coughs> Well, what is it, Lieutenant? That trench they've been digging. They'll reach the wall tonight. Yes, your calculations are accurate. Well, you have something to suggest, Duval? I should like permission to lead a patrol out at sundown. We'll occupy the trench long enough to mine it. And get yourself slaughtered into the bargain. You know, after a week of this, I should think you'd begin to realize we're not fighting baboons. They're clever. They're well organized. And they just love you to try to mine their trench. Well, then what do we do? Sit here and wait until they get close enough to blow the wall down? <laughs> Sergeant. Sergeant Babin. Uh, something, Captain? Sergeant. Would you tell the lieutenant what Latour's squad is doing down there by the wall? They make the preparation, sir. We have dug a pit inside the wall and mounted the machine gun. And they have also dug a hole through the wall. Not a very big one, mind you. Which is right on a level with the trench our friends are digging. Well... You begin to see, Duval? When the rifts reach our wall, our machine gun, firing through the hole, will be able to sweep their trench from one end to the other. Hmm. Is that correct, Sergeant? That is precisely correct, sir. See to it, Sergeant. Be assured, Mount Captain. Not so brave a plan as yours, Lieutenant, but far more lasting, don't you agree? I suppose they change the direction of their trench before they reach the wall. <laughs> Good for you, Lieutenant. If that happens, then I'll lead the patrol to clear them out myself. Bon chance, Goulet. Well enough, mon capitaine. The arm? Uh, 
But a scratch. Nothing. Get some sleep, man. Perhaps tomorrow, sir. Yeah, good man. All good man. Come along, Sergeant. I suppose the list has grown since last night. It is to be expected, sir. I know. Yeah, let's have a look. Hmm. Darrow, Tobin, Scarlatti. One, three, six, seven, eight. Seventeen unfit for duty. That's four more than yesterday. Total loss of seven. That means that there are just 28 of us left to hold them off. 28. They cut us down to nearly half in a little more than a week. They are paying for it, sir. Well, they can afford it, Sergeant. Unfortunately, we can't. Uh, this the report on the water? Water, food, and ammunition, sir. Yeah, it seems we still have an ample supply of the two most important, water and ammunition. Uh, they're quiet tonight, aren't they? Few digging in the train, sir. The rest, taking it easy. I suppose so. Who are the men on the machine gun? Uh, Corporal Latour and Anadoff on the gun, Captain. Zingeli and Smith are on the platform above. All four of them, I swear by my patron saint, are descendants of cats. They see in the dark. And what they don't see, they smell or hear. Mm, we can be thankful for that. How are the rest of the men holding out? The new ones, especially. Mon Captain, they are legionnaires. <laughs> yeah, you're wonderful, Baba. You don't change like a rock. How long is it? Six years we've been together. What were you in the Tsar's army? No sergeant, I'll wager. A colonel, more likely. Maybe a general, hmm? Uh, to tell the truth, sir, I was the Tsar himself. <laughs> <laughs> Eh, men without pasts, comrades in forgetfulness. Only you can never dig the past from your heart. It stays and it stays as long as you draw breath. We know, don't we, Baba? Bah! Enough of this foolishness. How's the lieutenant handling himself? I've been too busy to keep an eye on him. He is young, sir, and brave. And foolish? Inexperienced, sir. If he lives, he will learn. You realize he'll be in command if I should be killed? Uh, of course, sir. He'll be in command, but you'll have to see to it that he's guided wisely. You may depend on it, Mon Captain. Good. Now, uh... yeah, your catcher at work. Come along. Qu'est-ce que c'est, mon vieux? Sixteen days. And nights. And another night ahead. A uh, long time, Sergeant. The relief arrives tomorrow. Oh, is the next day? Oh, is the next... No, it's true. The word was just flashed from Taza. Three columns. Uh, you would not joke with this old one. <laughs> uh, you would not... You're passing the word? To all. The captain... Down! Get down! Well, well, Sergeant. A grenade, sir. I saw it come over the wall. It hit the firing platform and bounced through the ventilator into the magazine. The eastern wall is badly breached. And we can thank God for sundown on the rift's reluctance to fight after dark. What about casualties? Well, well? The, the wounded, Mount Captain. All except for Lieutenant Duval, were in the barracks next to the magazine. Yeah. No one survived. Everyone who was on the firing platform nearby, they... They too, sir. Oh, no. There are but ten of us left to hold Boadel until the relief arrives. I see. Ten, you say? Ten. All right. Bring them down off the walls, everyone. Bring them here to me. At once, Mon Captain. What a soldier. Do not talk to Val. <laughs> Save your strength. What difference... I'll be dead by morning. A uh, good soldier but does I'm not... not a good soldier. <laughs> well, everything takes practice. You got the makings. Good of you to say so. How does it feel? A hole in the chest gives one practice. Have a drink of water. <laughs> the mere scratch, as Babin would say. Here. Now try to not drink too much. What are you 
plan, sir. Before I tell you, there's something I want you to know. It's about your father. You did kill him, didn't you? Well, I... I, I brought the men, sir. Don't tell me you're still alive, Goulet. Uh, this one is too bad to die. The devil would not have me. <laughs> Be at ease, mes amis. Well, we're all that's left. And now we too must leave. In the morning when the attack comes, or even tonight, we couldn't hold them back. They'd take this fort. When the relief arrived, their job would be a terrible one. So we must make it as easy as possible. Men, we must blow up Boadel. Sergeant Papin, take six men and plant charges under the walls. You'll rig a time device and set it for exactly two o'clock. When we leave, we must look like riffs. You other men will get it. Is this complete, sir? Good. Now, here, try one of these. No, no, pull it up over your head. Huh? There. Yeah, not bad. Uh, <laughs> Rabbi, you look like a rift chieftain. Well, uh, let's hope the rift thinks so, too, huh? Well, all we can hope to do is brazenly walk through their lines as though we belong there. In the darkness, we looked apart. If they discover us, well... We shall pacify them, sir. Yes, as long as we're able. And we're going over the northern wall and head directly into their territory. Should we get through their lines, we'll hold up in the mountains till the relief arrives. Assemble your men and get them into those things. Like father, like son. Huh? Oh. You think I plan to leave you here? Why not? You only cut down your chances. Works out perfect for you. Oh, you young fool. Here, help me get this on you. <laughs> you can't. Lieutenant Duval, I have an order to give you. Be still. All right now, men. Two at a time. Don't try to crawl. Walk. Walk quietly, and if you're challenged, run for it. Sergeant, you, Galay, and I will go last. And tend to Lieutenant Duval. Any questions? Good. More chance, mon ami. More chance, mon ami. More chance. Go, lady. Take my rifle. I'll carry the lieutenant. Here comes, mon capitaine. Now, we'll wait here a moment. Give the others a chance to spread out. Huh? Shooting at the walls. All right, all right. Now, I'll go first. Galay, you watch the rear. Don't fire unless I give the word. Yeah. Here in these rocks will do. There seems to be a sort of a cave. Help me put him down. There. I thank Le Bon Dieu for this dark night. And not a little bit of luck. Ah, not always so lucky. Did you hear the shooting on the left? I'm not deaf. How is the lieutenant, sir? I don't know. Uh, this is a good place. High and well protected. Boulay is a man of strategy. Uh, not I. Capitaine, he picked it. It's nearly time. I suggest we remain quiet and listen. For Goulet to remain quiet is like asking for rain on a clear day. Uh, like a mouse, I... <laughs> Farewell, Boadel. And now we must wait for morning. Where am I? In a safe place. It's so quiet. As our enemy has moved out at dawn. Moved out? <coughs> but where? The fort is for Going to attack the relief. But it is a pleasure to watch. The relief column stretches as far as I can see. Then we're safe. Yeah? What do you say, Sergeant? Well, Baban has not seen his last battle. Cole and I will go and see if we can find some of the others. 
Come, little man. Ah, uh, no rest. Always orders, always something, and I, Goulet, was going to... Ah. Well, Duval? I, I was wrong about you. I know now why the men follow you. And your father? He, he's at peace. The name, Paul Leclerc. That was a coincidence. Something I saw in a book or a paper, I don't remember which. I never knew your father. I believe you. Even if you lie, I believe you. <laughs> then we leave it at that. Who we were in the past, why we're here is not important. We're men of the Legion. That is enough. More than enough, mon capitaine Leclerc. Our star, Conrad Nagel, will return in just a moment with a word about next week's show. Here's a special message. The United States Army needs young men, men with ambition who want to continue their education. If you can qualify, the Army will send you off to one of its many fine technical schools. The Army trains its men in such interesting, exciting fields as radio, radar, electronics, mechanics, meteorology, and many, many others. You'll not only get the finest training in the world, but you'll have the special pride that goes with wearing a United States Army uniform. Today, there are plenty of chances for a man to get ahead, for our Army is growing fast, and ambitious young men can grow with it. But why not learn for yourself about what the Army has to offer? Go to your nearest United States Army and United States Air Force recruiting station. Have a talk with the recruiting sergeant and learn all the facts. This has been another program on Proudly We Hail, presented transcribed in cooperation with this station by the United States Army and the United States Air Force Recruiting Service. Proudly We Hail stars Conrad Nagel. Action at Buadel was written by DeWitt Kopp. The music was composed and conducted by John Guarnieri. This program was produced under the supervision of Charles and Rogers Productions and directed by Charles Wilkes. This is Kenneth Banghart speaking, and here again is your host and star, Conrad Nagel. Well, friends, next week on Proudly We Hail, we present a spine-tingling drama about a house of mystery with several strange characters, both frightening and frightened. Our play is entitled, The House on the Hill. We hope you'll be with us. Until then, goodbye. Goodbye.